In our tutorial 4 we learned how to upgrade PowerShell from version 2 to 3 and in this tutorial we will upgrade PowerShell from version 3 to 4 and that includes all the prerequisites. With uh, Windows 7 you need the Service Pack 1 but uh, that is already a prerequisite for PowerShell 3 so we don't need to go uh, through that but uh, in case you wonder where it is this is the way to find it. And before we begin, let's check to see exactly what PowerShell version we have. Go in on uh, PowerShell and uh, dollar sign PS version table enter. And you see we have version 3. When you install PowerShell, there is nothing called Download PowerShell. PowerShell is included in something called Windows Management Framework and we want version 4. So let's bring that up on uh, Google. Windows Management Framework 4. and we want Microsoft. If you have a Windows 7 operating system Windows Management Framework 4 is what uh, you need to download and we are going to download that. If you have a Windows 8 operating system you do not need this. But before we get any further let's uh, check system requirements and it says here that Windows Management Framework 4.0 requires Microsoft.NET Framework 4.5 so we have to check to see if we need to install it or not. Let's uh, open up a new tab for that. Microsoft.NET Framework 4.5 and we want Microsoft. What we need to do now is to go in on additional information and what it says here is if you have the .NET Framework 3.5 you can install the 4.5 and they will work side by side. If you have the .NET Framework 4 it will upgrade it to 4.5. But if you have PowerShell 3.0 most likely you will have the framework 4.5 so we are going to check that out now. If you do not have it then this is the place to download the 4.5. So let's uh, close down the internet for a second and in tutorial 4 we went through a very detailed way through the registry to see where to find it and if you had the client or the full version of the .NET framework. This time we'll do it uh, the simple way. Start, Control Panel and Programs and Features. and we have it here Microsoft.NET Framework 4.5.1 If you don't have it, install. If you do have it, you're good to go. Just uh, check to see if your Windows 7 is 32-bit or 64-bit. In any case, going through the info on finding it through the registry in the last tutorial is a good knowledge to have. The Windows Management Framework we can see through the updates. Windows Update and Installed Updates. So let's go down a little bit here. And here we have it Windows Management Framework 3. So we need to uh, install the Framework 4.
back to Google and uh, we are ready to download just click uh, download my Windows 7 is a 64-bit operating system you gotta find out if yours is 64 or 32-bit and we click next I don't know if you can see this on this on your screen but um, we wanna open it could say run on yours do you want to install the following Windows software update yes we do click yes accept the terms if you don't you're not gonna get anywhere and the installation is complete this is uh, not Linux this is Windows so we we are going to have to restart the computer and I'm gonna have to uh, close down my uh, editing program and uh, we'll be back up in a second the computer has uh, started up again and there are two things we want to do now we want to go in on start all programs and Windows update and installed updates and here we can see that we have the Microsoft Windows Management Framework 4.0 and the last thing we want to do is go in on Windows PowerShell dollar sign PS version table enter and we now have PowerShell version 4 and that's it for now. Good luck.